It is a known fact that pop icon and artist Andy Warhol had quite an obsession with money, and this obsession led to some of his most recognizable works. If you've ever heard the expression, once poor, never rich, you'll realize exactly why Warhol had this preoccupation with money. He was born into blue-collar industrial Pittsburgh, and into a family that frankly was poor. Some artists hid from the limelight, but Warhol, much like Salvador Dali, was the consummate showman. He was not afraid to be in the limelight, to be the center of attention, like me. He started his career as a commercial drafts person and ended up taking objects, really banal objects, like the Brillo box or Campbell soup cans, and ended up turning them into high art. Warhol produced his dollar sign images first in the early 1960s and then again in the early 1980s. The series from the 1980s was actually hand-drawn by Warhol in a bunch of different shapes of dollar signs because he couldn't quite find one that he really liked. In today's market, some of these original dollar sign paintings are in the tens of millions, which would make Andy Warhol very proud.